Hey guys, welcome on Brayden Brown here, physical therapist and wellness coach. Get your fix physical therapy, get your fix nutrition, CrossFit coach at CrossFit Majestic. I decided to get out of the office today and uh, it's actually decent temperature outside since there's a little bit of cloud cover, so not too bad here in Arizona today. But a little breezy, which is why I have my headset in, so hopefully you can hear me all okay. Wanted to talk today about my absolute favorite substitution and that is spaghetti squash. I eat this pr pretty close once a week, not quite once a week at times, but um, I'm making it very frequently and uh, it's absolutely like, I love it, it's amazing. Pretty much anything you are going to do with pasta, you can do with this. So you can do it super simple and just add your normal pasta sauce or meat sauce to it. Uh, you can put pesto on it or you can, you know, or you can go as in depth as you want and if you normally do some sort of um, like Italian bake type thing that you mix all together, put in the, um, put it in the oven, you can use spaghetti squash for that. I do that fairly frequently as well and it is phenomenal when you do that. Um, I use, I've done like a, I don't do eat dairy, so I've done a cauliflower alfredo that turned out amazing with it. Uh, what else? I do like a carbonara type dish with it and regardless of what I've done with it, it's turned out amazing. So you really can create anything you would with pasta with this and it works out really well. It's super easy to make as well. Literally, um, you can put it in the microwave. I hate doing that. I don't like using the microwave if I don't have to for things. So um, can put it on the grill or in the oven. I always do the oven. 375 degrees, 40 minutes, you literally just cut it in half, take the seeds out, put it upside down in there, and you are good to go. I do know people that don't even cut it in half, they just cut the stem off and put it in there, and uh, it does turn out really well um, like that also. For me personally, I just prefer to cut it in half, put them face side down, or the flat side down, put it in the oven, and uh, once you take it out, just let it cool, and it comes out super easy. Now, with that also said, it actually is really good uh, raw as well, especially with pesto. It's actually my favorite way to do it with pesto. The caveat to it is it's really difficult to get out when it's raw. So um, it takes a lot of grip strength and <laughs> takes some work to get it out when it's raw, but it can be done and it actually is pretty phenomenal that way as well. Like I said, it's one of my favorite ways actually to eat it with pesto. So. That's my two cents for you with when it comes to spaghetti squash. Like I said, I absolutely love it. It's one of my favorites, if not my favorite substitution uh, when it comes to talking about vegetable substitutions for higher carb foods. Um, if you've used it before, I would love to hear any comments that you have or any ideas you have that you've done with it. Uh, any feedback you can give any of us is um, would be phenomenal. Um, if you haven't tried it, I highly suggest you do it. Um, I think you're gonna like it. I think your family will like it. If not, let me know that as well because I just love to hear feedback from what people like, what people don't like, and any other ideas that you have. So um, post on here any comments on spaghetti squash. I would love to hear it. If you have any specific questions for me, feel free to reach out to me through Facebook Messenger. I'd be happy to have a conversation with you and have a great rest of your afternoon, evening, wherever you are watching this. And until next time, have a fabulous couple of days. I'll talk to you again on Saturday. Yeah, talk to you guys Saturday. All right, have a wonderful one, guys. Bye.